Hey, what's up everyone? We're back with another tutorial in Cubase Pro 12. This is going to be a quick tip. You see, in hip hop, one of the quintessential sounds that you can make is the sound of an 808 bass stretched across the keys. And you can do that in Cubase with Groove Agent so that the end result ends up sounding something like this. And I'll show you how to do it today. Okay, so we're here in Cubase, and the first thing we need to do is find an 808 sample. And uh, we can do that easily enough. Let me just kill my camera so that you guys can see what I'm looking for. Um, here in the media bay, if you switch to the media bay, you'll have, it'll end up looking like something like this. And you can use either the file browser or you can use loops and samples um, because this actually comes included, this 808 sample comes included with Cubase. If I just type in 808 in my search bar, the sample I'll be using is Hip Hop 8084. And we'll be going for something like this as a finished product. So in order to put that into uh, Groove Agent SE, I'll just open up a new one that's completely unused and drag this sample hip hop 04 to the first pad. Now, uh, one quick tip is sometimes if you're using an 808 bass, they'll tell you what key it's in. And we can do that by taking a look at the full blown media bay that you get to by hitting F5. And if I search for 808, we'll have all of our samples come up. Well, these, they don't tell you what key they're in. Now, if we get to lo-fi bass 808, they will tell you what key they're in. So the hip hop 04 sample I've chosen does not have a key with it, but it's easy enough to figure out the key by adding a tuner and playing the sample. So if I open the tuner and I open Groove Agent and I play the sample, Luckily enough, the sample is in C. So we know that C1 is where we want it. And now we want to stretch it across the keys. So how do we stretch it across the keys? Well, we go to key range here in the pitch tab. So when you open Groove Agent, you'll be on the main tab. If you go to the pitch tab, which is the second tab, you click on this key range button and we can go down. Um, maybe to the C below it, C0, and go up to the C above it, C2. And as you can see, these populate as we go up. So now we have two octaves of the bass. But if you listen, the sample's very long, so you can hear it overlapping. So, so what could we do? We could shorten the sample to make it shorter, but what I like to do with 808 bass is the following. I like to go to my options, and just allow one voice to make it monophonic. Now, if I replay the scale, you'll hear as the second pad plays, the first pad shuts off. And you don't have that echo effect of one sample finishing as the other sample starts. So that's my other tip. Um, you know, load in the sample. You can go to the edit page, pitch, hit key range and choose how many octaves you want of your 808 sample. And then I go to options and make the max voices one so that the 808 bass becomes monophonic. Now you could make it two if you wanted to play chords with the bass. I mean, I suppose we could make it two and do a uh, or whatever, but uh, for, for bass purposes, I'm typically playing bass monophonically, so I'll keep it monophonic. And um, since we knew that this was C, I you know we started it in C, but if you had a sample that was an E, you could place it on the E, and then your notes will correspond with the actual notes on your keyboard, if that makes sense to you. Um, so, I mean, all that's left is really to play in a little bass line. So let's uh, give that a shot. Here we go. That's a little loud, so we'll turn down our groove agent.
and pretty quickly we have uh, used an 808. We've uh, imported it into Groove Agent. We've used the key range to stretch it across the pads. We've used the options to make it monophonic, and we have a fully playable bass instrument from within uh, Groove Agent in just a matter of minutes. And these are samples that come included with Cubase, so that's pretty cool too. So this has just been a quick tip on how to stretch an 808 sample across the pads in Groove Agent SE5. I hope you all have enjoyed it. If you have, please feel free to like or subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>